Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Timster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add levels of detail to landscapes in the Blender game engine. So right here I have a sort of small landscape with some grass on it and a really weirdly extruded building uh, over here. And basically what I wanted to do is a while ago I did do a levels of detail tutorial where you know in the settings here you'd add a levels of detail and then the closer you got to the object it would sort of subdivide smoother and look a little bit better the closer you got to it but it sort of becomes a bit of a problem especially when you're trying to tackle things like landscapes so I came up with a very nice solution if I now press 0 and press P you see I have grass surrounding me and then behind the grass it looks like there is currently nothing and then if I move forward you'll notice the grass as I move forward generates and then once it comes to a certain point where I've stopped planting it, then it stops appearing. This building over here, you can see it sort of looks, uh, you know, flat. And then if we move closer, you can see uh, it changes and it now has extrusions and stuff in it. Now that really isn't necessary. I mean, you could always use the levels of detail function under the settings. Uh, but yeah, again, this is just me sort of experimenting with it and showing what can be done with it. So the most useful thing for this is obviously for the mesh, which your character is running around on, and for the, uh, for example, if you want a grass or vegetation growing the closer you got to it. Okay, so how is this done? Well, basically, we have a high resolution scene here, and then we have a low resolution scene. And the low resolution scene has a camera, which has its clipping set really high, so from 50 to 200. So if I press P, it looks like we've got a big cutout missing. And then in the high resolution scene, we have the opposite. We have, if we go to our camera, uh, we have a clipping ending at 55, so it ends really close to us. That's basically the distance when we start seeing the grass sort of generating in as we get closer. And then also on this camera we have a background scene which is low resolution scene. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click File New, open up a new blend file. We're going to change it to Blender Game, GLSL, and a animation frame rate of 60. Then I'm going to delete my cube by pressing X and delete, press Shift A, add a plane, and this is going to be nice and big, so something like that, like so. And then I'm going to add my first person shooter setup, so uh, link in the description for that, it's just FPS template, uh, so download that, and then to append that in, we're going to go File and Append, so once you've downloaded that file, we're going to go find it. Then once you've found it, we'll click on it, then go to Object, select Body, Camera, Feet, and Head, then click Link and Append, and now we'll delete this camera over here, because we don't need it anymore, so delete that, then select this camera here, and press Numpad 0 to go into Camera View, then down here, change it to Textured, and now if we press P, you should be able to look around and walk around as well. Okay, cool, so we have that working. Now I'm going to change this to a Hemi and press Alt-R to get rid of the rotation. Then I'm going to select my plane here. I guess you can call it floor if you like. And I'm going to give it a texture. So no specular, uh, back facing you may as well turn off. And then we're going to give it a new texture, image of movie, a UV, and I'm just going to give it a grass texture. So I'm going to open that up, then I'm going to press tab, U, and unwrap. And then over here, I'm going to make a new window. Select UV image editor, and then I'm going to select grass. Then press tab, and press S in this window. And they'll make the texture nice and big for us. Then we'll press tab again to go out of edit mode, and we can close that window. Then we'll select everything, so B to box select, and drag it over the remainder. And then we'll press Control L, and that will make links. And we need a new scene, so this one can be called uh, High Res, High Res Scene. Then we'll make a new one with uh, linked objects as well. So we'll link our objects, and this one can be called Low Res Scene. We'll leave a space. Okay, so now we should have uh, two different scenes both with the same things in them. 
And now what we want to do is for our high resolution scene, we want to add some grass. So I'm going to press Shift A, add a plane, and move it up, and then press R, Y, 90, and S, Y. And that's going to be my grass. So in the description of the video is a grass texture, which I made. So uh, feel free to go ahead and download that if you don't have it already. Then I'm going to click New Material, turn off Specular, uh, turn off Back Facing, turn on Transparency, no Alpha, and then we're going to give it a new texture, Image or Movie, UV, and Alpha down here. Then we'll click Open, we'll find our grass texture, so if you downloaded it, it will be in your downloads, and it should be called Grass. So there we go and we'll click open and now if you press tab U and unwrap there we go it will have unwrapped it but it's sideways so we're going to make a new window here change it to UV image editor then press tab in this window and then in this window here without doing anything else we're going to press R90 and then press enter and that should rotate the texture for us okay cool so now I'm going to do one more thing in the materials tab here I'm going to change it to clip so it looks a little bit neater okay now we're going to close that window again press T to get rid of this menu here and then I'm going to press SY and SZ maybe and move it down something like that I'm just going to have sort of four corners like that and then I'm going to select ground, press S to make it even bigger. Then I'm going to select my camera here and I'm going to go to game logic. Now this will be all untextured so you can change it back to textured and uh, yeah very nice and complex. Anyway we're going to add an always sensor and then we're going to add a scene and we're going to select add background scene and then join the two together and we want to show low resolution scene so that one right there and to get this working properly we need some clipping going so I'm going to go along here to the camera panel and I'm going to go over here the clipping we want to start at point 1 and finish at 35 so something like that and then on our low resolution scene we want the clipping to start at 30, uh, but before we do that, we'll need to go here and select the number 2, and then in the camera settings, we'll need to select number 2 as well. Then it's going to start at 30, and then it's going to finish at, uh, maybe we'll make it 100. Okay. So it looks something like that, and then the high resolution scene will look sort of cut off, like so. Okay, now if we press P, uh, there we go. We can see the background and we can see the foreground and if we move forward, we have our grass spawning in. Uh, if you hold down shift, you can sprint and it will sort of spawn in faster. And yeah, there we go. So, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the levels of detail for landscapes working nicely. Again, if you wanted to, you can make a whole nother scene. Uh, that was even lower resolution if that was possible or uh, maybe you wanted an even higher resolution which again then instead of a background scene to the camera you'd add as an overlay and uh, yeah so it'd be in front so that's basically how all of that works it also works with uh, your sort of 
navigation mesh or the mesh that your character walks along say if you wanted to make it more high resolution so to subdivide it lots then uh, obviously it would be subdivided when you're close to it like so uh, like right in front of me here would be subdivided and nice and smooth and then in the background would be more rough because it's yeah further away so anyway hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did feel free to leave a like comment or share all of that greatly appreciated but until then i'll see you guys in the next tutorial